just need one more. I 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 just need one more. Then I'll pick up the cross head. Okay. Like the blunt, my nigga. Pass his beat to the left so I could press. Total my hits like I didn't wreck. Who is next? Niggas asleep like pillow pets. Getting foreign head from a bad bitch from Budapest. Call your bet. Cause I'm just trying to get a quick check. Then rest with my face. Lights, camera. It's all about that action. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy, Son of the Ways. This is What's the Way. Thank y'all for tuning in. This is episode 38 today. I'm rocking solo. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Like I said, we took a hiatus last week. A lot of stuff been going on professionally, personally, but we here. Like I said, What's the Wave is here to stay. We ain't going nowhere anytime soon. Smash that like button. Go ahead and hit that notification bell. Tell your auntie because this is her favorite podcast. And take a seat and grab some popcorn because we got a nice, easy, fun, chill show for you today. Thank y'all for tuning in wherever you may be watching and or listening. Appreciate all the love and support. This episode, I said 38, we like 58. So we're, we're going in. We're going to the moon, yo. So we're going to keep this thing going. Got Rio Reels in the building. Y'all know what it is. Got Kenny the Nick known with me. Even though hoop season is all about the playoffs, we'll definitely talk about that. Become Cosmetics, some new news coming from them as well. So stay tuned at the end of the episode for the Bay Area brand segment because a lot of news from uh, our sponsorships for sure. Vintage Variation, Become Cosmetics, and Rio Real Productions. You dig? But without further ado, we got some current events. Got some sports talk, and then we're going to wrap up this show in the nice, waviest way as possible. So let's get into it. Uh, number one, got to start off. Been seeing a couple things. A lot of stuff been popping off on the socials as far as viral videos and stuff like that. You know, I like to keep us up on the little trendy news and what's going on. Recently, I seen the thing with DJ Envy from The Breakfast Club uh, and him and his wife. I guess they got some, uh, I don't know if it was a book or something coming out. And there was a video, I guess, went viral about how their relationship in the bedroom you feel me how they got a couple things going on and i guess his wife was talking about how she would fake orgasms you feel me in the bedroom for whatever which reason i this i don't need to get all day particulars but bringing it here let me know in the comments think about faking it in the bedroom i can only speak for a man because that's what i am you feel me so as my woman, a woman that I'm physical with, if we're, you know, kind of being intimate and on that romantic level, don't do that shit. <laughs> I'm going to keep it a buck 50. I'd rather you keep it, keep it a bean. If, if it's not, if it's not hidden like it's supposed to be hidden, then say that. I think that's a level of comfortability you should have with your uh, sexual partner, especially that's your wife. You feel me? Y'all husband and wife. It's not like y'all uh, sneaky links or anything like that, or just, you feel me, little friends with Benny's on the side. So, I feel like as your your wife should respect you enough to be like, hey, boo, you're not, you're not, you're not, you feel me, hitting that, you know, and as that being your woman, you know, your lifelong partner, you got to be able to respect it. You got to see what you could do to, you know, but to come out publicly, I understand, though, they're somewhat public figures in that public space and doing all of that. But I ain't gonna lie, before we would've went on camera or even on camera, I'm, uh-uh, uh-uh, we ain't saying all of that. You, yeah, y'all should've talked about that before y'all even went on a little press run about some things. So, like I said, hilarious situation. Um, Women, why? That's all I wanna know. Why do you feel like you need to to fake that? Is it just to boost a man's ego if you don't wanna, you feel me, belittle him, make him feel like less than he is? But then again, you lying and being a little deceitful in that sense. So just as a man, I, I'd rather ask for respect. Like if I'm it's like, nah, this is you're not cutting it, G. Okay, then. Then I'm going to have to change my game plan. You feel me? I'm going to have to go back in the playbook, pull a different couple plays out. But hey, if I'm not the right man for the team, then shit, I'm not the right man for the team. I don't know. A little respect thing. Especially that's what I'm thinking. Y'all y'all are husband and wife. So like it's different if it's a little one thing. You're like, oh, yeah, I let him have his fun and whoop de -woo -woo. Same thing. Another thing. There are men out there who be faking orgasms too. Since I've had this conversation in person with some other people, I I didn't know it, it was as common as it is. Um, I'm not one of those people myself. I don't, I don't got time for none of that. Like you said, I don't need to fake the phone with nobody. So if I if you feel me, if I last in my two minutes, I last my two minutes. If, but if not, we go twenty, we go two hours. It's whatever. Like you said, there's no reason to cap. I'm not gonna hype you up. I'm not gonna make you feel better just because. Um, of our relationship just being romantic I would respect you more as a person To tell you Baby girl Is is the, the water cold You feel me Or you feel me The, the, the pool ain't that deep You know you know, There's there's certain things You know you can, you can let your partner know In that aspect But As a man And any woman seeing that uh, Seeing this Just give, give Give the dude Who you messing with Who you humping on Who you loving on That respect Just be honest with him Babe 
you're not laying it down. So do I got to find another quarterback or are you finna go throw this thing deep? So just be honest, you know. Oh, that's all I'm saying. A little transparency. Transparency is key. Communication is as well. So, but DJ MV, you a, you, you a real one. I hope I hope everything is real with that one. I know you took a lot of flack on the chin for that one. Like, I know a lot of people was uh, had a lot to say about it. So it is what it is. I wish y'all the best. But that is a funny situation. And we've been hearing that for a long time about women faking in the bedroom stuff. And I was just like I said, for what? What, what you got to lie for? You ain't got to lie to kick it. You ain't got a lot of boost your man ego, but I understand why you would and stuff like that because that's your man and you don't want him to feel. But if that's really your man and you want him to feel a certain way, you're going to tell him so he can make you feel a certain way because now you know you're compromising your own feelings, shawty. So don't do that. So this way everybody can eat. Everybody can have fun. Everybody can perform at their best in and out of the bedroom. Come on. Keep that in mind. But shout out to DJ Envy, man. Shout out to the wife. Yeah. I hope y'all I hope y'all doing better in all areas. You feel me? Uh, to keep it moving, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna run through this show really fast. I don't even got like I said, I don't got a guess. I just got the uh, I got Kenny, I got the What's the Wave sign up into more kind of relationship issue drama from from celebrities and stuff. I mean, I could go the whole Kim and Kanye route. That's a whole nother set of drama I don't need to get on with Pete Davidson. I just seen something about uh he got their kids' initials tatted. That's weirdo activity. I don't know if, if that to be true or not. Um but I don't want to dive too deep in Kim and Kanye. It seemed like it's a, a new saga every other day. I uh, seen a video of Kanye retrieving the sex tape. Like he retrieved the whole sex tape from the hard drive, from somebody, um, from Ray J and all the other shit and gave it to Kim. It's wild. I didn't know he was doing all of that. But now you can see, I can see a little bit why Kanye was transpiring. But hey, the main conversation I want to shift to, which has been kind of in the court system, was this Johnny Depp domestic violence thing with him and his uh and him and his ex baby mama whatever you want to call it but if you haven't heard Johnny Depp and his wife ex-wife I don't know where they're at as far as their um relationship status but they are in court because Johnny Depp I get basically present charge domestic violence that should go both ways so leave a comment below do you think he's doing too much being a man accusing his wife of being domestically violent or do you think he's soft let me know below do you think he being soft do you think he's doing too much me personally, domestic violence, it go both ways. It could be a certain level that you feel exactly you need to take it to the courts. You know, you can handle it cordially, stuff like that. But, I mean, I ain't going to let no woman just put their hands on me either, willingly or unwillingly. Like, you feel me? So that's just that's just me and how I see it. I might not be the type to take it to the court. You know, I feel like things can be handled in-house. That's something that definitely could be hashed out in-house. Um, I was kind of exposed to domestic violence as a child and stuff like that so i see the different dynamics of it um i see how parents interact how it could go on both sides because it's not always just oh um the husband's abusive or the woman's uh the wife is abusive um there's all substance abuse that goes into it mouse a lot of people got a mouth on them and be triggering the next motherfucker so that also play a role i'll be seeing these women talk crazy to these dudes and hey these dudes be talking crazy back and you feel me you got a lot of women out here who got brothers and cousins and, and it's about that life but i don't know throwing hands and all that i don't know if it needs to result to that level of literal violence so but shout out to johnny depp because as a man in his space, he's lost work, uh, job opportunities. A lot of stuff has affected his life negative, negatively because of this case. And this, well, not even accusation, but this situation, I should say, which is very wild. Just as a man saying, because my wife d was domestically violent to me, then I have to lose all of that, everything I work for and all my kind of cachet and him being a public figure. That's that's a lot. That's hard to, you know, admit it's easy for a person like me or you, a everyday person to say that and take that to the courts. We not we don't have millions of people watching our, you know, court cases, our trials and stuff like that. So big shout out to Johnny Depp. Um, if you know anything about acting like you feel me, Johnny Depp, he 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 wanted to go to my opinion. You feel me? He up there. That boy, that boy got range. That boy got range as far as white actors, too. You know, you know, black act, that's different. But that boy got range for the white actors. You feel me? So today that's all you can ask for especially from uh a man in his status kind of kind of in society so shout out to johnny depp uh i hope everything works out i think that stuff is still ongoing i don't, I don't think that's just one no little one case and they brush it under the rug i think that's still we're gonna see a lot more develop out of that situation but i just had to clap it up for him um stand your ground men and women always always so let's move it along move it along move it along until some more, like I said, these viral videos going crazy. Me and Rio was just talking about it before the podcast. These fake Dirk and Drakes, yo. Okay, we've been seeing this. I mentioned it last week. Check out episode 
57 with my boy Monty Fo. That was a great episode. We were talking about the fake Dirk lookalikes. And he called it too. He literally said, watch Dirk get this boy in the music video. Literally, the day the episode posted, real, I kid you not, Monty called me. He said, let me show you the FaceTime me on YouTube two hours earlier. Dirk got the fake Dirk in the video doing XYZ for the clout stuff. So we see how these stunts and stuff can get you propelled into uh, superstardom barely little stuff like that that's hard the other white girl going viral for rapping a little baby song anyway we've been doing that shit for years like come on now if that's the case I'll, I'll go I'm about to record me singing Linkin Park in the end and going crazy and well, let's see if that go viral you feel me but then we seen the situation where fake Dirk linked up with fake fat Drake like buddy don't even he really don't even look like Drake like mug he got a beard and, and just got the fucking heart on his head like it's silly Oh, so silly. But they linked up with him. They make a viral lip syncing the Drake, you know, Drake and Dirk song and all this other stuff. And now I see them continuing this persona. At first, I see a one off. Ha ha. Funny. We played y'all. We shammed y'all. You feel me? That's that's funny. But now it's like a it's a fucking career path. It's a real avenue that these boys are taking it in. And that's what I want y'all to speak on in the comments below. Do you think it's too much? Is this too far? When is enough enough? You feel me? I get it as a, as a funny, a ha-ha, a prank, you imitating somebody. But now they're continuously generating clout and money and revenue off of it by literally imitating another human being. I don't know. I get it if, you know, maybe if it's a fictional character. Like, if you want to be Superman or the Hulk or something like that. I mean, even the motherfuckers in Vegas. You got 80 Elvises and 80 Michael Jacksons, but... They don't take it to this degree. I'm just saying. So I need to know what y'all think. Please, please let me know. I think they doing too much. I just, my, my, my pride is, is speaking for me right now. My ego. I could never just feel comfortable imitating another human being, let alone another man, just for my own clout and for success. Like, I don't know. Real copycat stuff out here. And hey, I want to mind, you know, everybody got a clone, you know. But, well, you know, there's carbon copies of a lot of people out there. But to just be like, yeah, that's what... That's what I want to be when I get older. I'm going to act like Drake and dress like Drake and be Drake. All right. Okay. Hey, I don't know. This is a crazy generation, crazy world we live in at this time. But I, I can't even say salute or props to them. I'm not really I'm not really an advocate for none of that. That stuff is silly. But either way, we'll keep it going because I got some good music and some good TV to put y'all on for show. Shout out to Modelo's. Um, but yeah, that'll wrap it up for most of the current events that I've been seeing trending on on the socials and stuff like that a lot of people have been talking about but let's get into some music that i personally been listening to you know when i have the guests on i usually ask them what they like what's been on their playlist lately whether it be new school old school some r&b some hip-hop some rap some rock some country whatever they into i like getting exposed to as well so but today definitely gonna talk about my bag two albums that have been on my playlist off the rip some new music y'all should uh, stay privy to Number one, that live like a shout out that boy Deadstock DP, man. The lifestyle is different, bro. Oh, excuse me. That's that Modelo talking. But no, that live like us album. He just dropped shit a couple days ago. I'm going to try to bring him on so he could so he could preview some of that for you. Like I said, we got some in the works. But yeah, we definitely got to show you all that. Go check that out. Um, that that uh, press pause with, with Gary, with Gary Jr. Like I said, I got, I'm going to bring them back, bro. Go go check out. I think that was episode like 24, 25, something like that. Go go check them out, that episode for sure. But he got some heat on that thing. He got some heat on that thing for sure. So shout out Deadstock DP. He been moving. Just dropped them sweatsuits on Beyond Deadstock. If you need the hats, you see I got one on right now. But he got the uh, the black and yellow ones. Fire, boy. That boy got some new colorways. He's, he's doing his thing. He's doing what he got to do. So check out that Live Like Us EP album, whatever you want to call it. It's fire. Go get it right now. Apple Music, wherever you listen to your music at, definitely go slap that. Um, and shout out my boy DJ Big Vince for putting me on that Vince Staples album. I believe that Ramona Park, uh, Broken Dreams or something like that. That's been on. That's been fire. Out of probably, I think it's a handful of songs on there that I really, really mess with. That Magic, been on repeat all week. That Magic, I damn near play that every time I get in the car. And it's one of those. Oh, that Free the Homies. It's called A, Free the Homies. That's the one. Those, those are two bangers. But it's a couple more I got on my playlist. That shit's been going up. So shout out to Vince Staples. I never really was a big Vince Staples person, honestly. I just got into uh, really listening to newer artists or exposing myself to a person's full body of work. I don't even, how do I want to say? Not like trendy music, but like some little TikTok stuff. Like that, uh, that little bro. That wild have one, bitch, and you can have five. Why have five? That's it. Like, I love songs like, like like that nowadays. I'm so glad to see the rap game be more welcoming to, like, 
satirical and more comedic rap. Like, I love that. I love when people be funny and joke, like BFB the Pac-Man. He got that can't blame yay, because you feel me? Little stuff like that. You know, he just be talking random stuff, random stuff all the time. So all these little kind of trendy songs and stuff. It's funny. It's a little annoying seeing them on TikTok and Instagram and all these every day. But I can't lie, some of them be catchy. So I'm starting not to be that old head like, nah, I never listen to these new school things and all. Nah, some of them be, be kind of funny. I think it was a dude named, uh, what's his name? Jibo, Jibo Lean dropped that I Get High. He did a uh, remix. Um, what else have I been listening to? Oh, yeah, they just threw that Taylor Alderdice back on Apple Music. Wiz O mixtape, that Taylor Alderdice. I got a lot of slaps on there. That California, um, that, oh my gosh, what's it called? Oh. Uh, but well, Juicy J, all, all of that. Chevy Woods, Juicy J, that brought me back to damn near 2011, 2012, back in high school type shit. Like, shout out uh, the old Wiz, you feel me? I like new Wiz is new Wiz, but you feel me? I'm, I'm always going to favor the old Wiz because, you know, that's what we grew up on. So, Taylor Alderdice, definitely go check that out. Y'all know I've been slapping some Baby Tron, uh, that Megatron. He got that Megatron. Go slap that for sure. Shout out to Shitty Boys. Um, and then... Yeah, that, that that's pretty much it. Like I said, those those been the those been the songs on repeat for sure. Uh, shout out that what is it? Uh, G pop that too smooth that I'm too smooth. That boy go crazy, man. Shout out G pop. But we also got a lot more music from where we from, from Vallejo, from the Bay Area, coming to y'all. Like I said, we've already had a cup a lot of freestyles be dropped from K and O Mob, my boy Tay D. Like I said, we got De we gonna have Deathstock DP coming through. Hopefully, Gary Jr. gonna come through as well. So we got some stuff lined up in the, in the very near future that I need y'all to stay on the lookout for. So make sure to hit that notification bell so you can be aware of all of the things that drop from What's the Wave every Wednesday. Shit, even more than that because we we taking over the whole week, man. That's what we do. Um, let's shift gears from the music to the TV. Me personally, I've I've been working a lot, so I haven't really been doing too much on uh, as far as deep diving into some good TV shows or any movies like that i am gonna go see this dr strange this friday because y'all know i'm a superhero nerd, nerd superhero geek this new dr strange is gonna drop it's gonna be great i have been watching a lot of playoffs like i said we're gonna get into that next playoffs have been uh in the thick of it the round we had a great round first round of the playoffs like some really good games uh boston got boston swept the nets lost some money on that Warriors still looking strong. Memphis looking good. Things like that. The Suns look not as healthy with D Book being out, but they're gonna make some noise. So I've been watching a lot of uh, hoop. The NFL draft just happened, but other than that, you know me. I've just been watching anime. Uh, caught up on my Demon Slayer. Let me know what anime I should start next. I'm thinking. Uh, I'm caught up on Attack on Titan. You feel me? I need to see if I gotta go hop on this old some old stuff like Bleach. If I gotta go check out Hunter Hunter. My brother told me hop on Black Clover. I'm not touching One Piece. My boy just got caught up on that from the thousands of episodes and it took him like five months to do that. Shout out that boy Oski for sure. Go check out his podcast, the Oski Way Man. Always. But I ain't doing no One Piece. Maybe Hunter Hunter. Uh, I, I've never tapped into My Hero, so some of that too. Man, let, let me know. Let me know which anime I should drop into. Because I've been on that Demon Slayer lately, and I mess with that Demon Slayer. I just wish my boy uh, Zenitsu would stop being a little bitch. But, hey, that's neither here nor there, though. But that's honestly going to wrap it up for, for the current events and what's been going on really recently. Let's get into some sports talk. Like I said earlier, the NBA playoffs are in full swing. The round two just started. So I believe a couple games happened yesterday. The Golden State is up 1-0 on Memphis. Uh, shout out Ja. He had like 34, but he missed a game-winning layup. That's, it's been a very exciting playoffs for them. But the the Warriors are looking like the Warriors of of the old, and not the last two years, but, you know, them 15, 16 years for sure. So they're looking very pretty. If they can stay healthy, you know, Draymond keep his temper under control because, you know, they always quick to throw that boy a take. That reputation stuff definitely uh, lingers and follows with him, but comes with the territory words are looking good they up 1-0 on memphis the heat just beat philly today excited to see how that series is going to play out right now the mavs are playing phoenix let's see what the score is updates in real time it's live tv y'all it's eight minutes left in the fourth quarter phoenix is up one up by dub 85 to 106 so kind of see where that's going without d book phoenix is still eating doing their thing they're they're also looking like prime form right now like they're 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 really clicking on all cylinders so looks like we might have a phoenix golden state you know western conference and then last but not least probably the most interesting uh series of this round boston bucks it's been good i think the bucks just they just got the answer which is Giannis. and i don't know if boston has has a way to stop him right now to be honest boston spoke to how it was a lot different playing against the Bucks, then the Nets, 
because they actually had to put more effort. You know, they're playing another physical team, not very finesse team, where it's just kind of two scores and iso ball. Like, you playing against another real team basketball. And Giannis uh, scores a lot different than KD, you feel me? So, different ball game, a lot more physicality and length, too. Like, you see the Bucks. The Bucks are super lanky. So, it's going to be good, man. I like these playoffs, you know. My boy Jay Corleone always give me flat because I don't be watching hoop like that. Man, I know what I'm talking about, man. I stay aware. I stay privy to everything that goes on in the sports world. Well, for the most part, so. I'm, I'm excited for these playoffs. Uh, we talk a little bit NFL. This year was a weak draft class. I mean, that's pretty pretty consensus. Uh, pretty boo boo draft class, but a lot of not a lot of names went off the board. Congrats to everybody who got drafted. I mean, like I said, that's that's changing lives right there. Uh, my team, you know, I'm an LA Charger fan. We made some couple little splashes. We did what we had to do. Bolstered up the positions that we needed to fill. Other moves that were made that day: AJ Brown to the Eagles so I know my boy Gary Jr. Juice because I know he liked the Eagles he's an Eagle fan so that should be cool you know get Jalen Hurts a little bit more help I seen Hollywood Brown or Marquise Brown went from the Ravens to the Cards so he went from Lamar throwing him the ball to Kyler throwing him the ball I mean two dynamic running quarterbacks the best two running quarterbacks in the league well Josh Allen you got to throw him up there but I would probably take Kyler before Josh Allen me personally but Yes, that, so that's going to be crazy. And I just seen D-Hop, DeAndre Hopkins, suspended, PED use. Ah, he's just fucking up. You know, things happen. Things happen. I think he was trying to do it more on some get healthy because he's been injured. And they caught him, caught him at the wrong time or right time, I guess. You know, when they do the little drug test and all that stuff. So I think, I think he's going to be send, suspending a handful of games for next season. And Tyron Matthew, you know, my boy Rio, Chiefs fan, they just lost. Lost one of the anchors to their defense. He uh, a Nola kid, you feel me? A Nolans boy. So he ended up with the Saints. I think he signed a three year, like thirty three million dollar deal. I'm, t- I think the Saints are going to be kind of sneaky this year. If I'm looking at the the like the NFC South that division, it's going to be kind of sneaky. They're going to rival the Bucks. You feel me? Because the Bucks is still the team to beat with Brady coming back. But don't sleep on the Saints. If Jameis come back healthy, I don't know. You know the quarterback still a little bit of question mark, but. They got, they got squad. They got squad. They're getting Michael Thomas back, too. So don't don't forget about that. But, yeah, we're going to keep it going. That's enough NFL talk for them being in the offseason. We're going to wrap up this show quick and easy. Like I said, I don't have a guest, so I don't have a big brand to bring you. But I have sponsors, and they are big brands that I'm bringing to you right now. First brand right now, Vintage Variation. Shout out V2. Shout out my boy A-Dub. Shout out Anthony Will because we in this thing. But shout out Vintage Variation, all of your clothing needs, vintage apparel from hats to shirts to pants to shoes from everything from women's, men's and kid options as well. So they got everybody covered, all ages, all sizes, everything you need from extra small to triple, quadruple, extra large. If we, if you need it, we got it. Shout out Vintage Variation, man. And a lot more picks and a lot more collections finna be dropping this summer stay tuned june is gonna be hot man june's gonna be hot so you know i'm an ambassador for the brand myself we've been doing our thing we've been working a lot behind the scenes so please stay for sure for that and comment below well what else do y'all want to see from v2 this summertime you feel me summertime springtime finna pop out so please drop a comment below what y'all want to see from vintage variation second of course i got a shout out to my sponsor b come cosmetics b3 come cosmetics been holding it down, as you see. So right now, I know you have been like, where they been at? I ain't really seen a little certain thing like that. Whole new rebranded things coming, popping. So they had to lay low, keep it under the surface. But please, please, don't think they, it's nothing too light. Because they're going to come quick, fast, and in a hurry. And the drop is going to be like an anvil, like they do in Tom and Jerry. Boom, boom. Yeah. Drop it on your head. Stay aware. Drop a comment below. What else do y'all want to see? Because It's growing. That's not just finna be just just lips, but uh, you know that's what I talk about because I still have the products for y'all ladies because this will make me look at them. Lips is the become cosmetics, but just know the brand is growing. The brand has a lot more in store and a lot more plans. So I'm super excited to hear what they have going, and you know you can hear it first, and we're gonna bring it to you exclusively. So shout out Vintage Variation, shout out Become Cosmetics, V2, B3, and like I said, it's What's the Wave, and now Double R Productions, Rio Reels, in the building, holding it down. Um, Like I said, he popping out this summer too, y'all, so I know y'all see me doing my thing, y'all be like, oh, you got the little equipment, you got the boy who do the editing, with yeah, yeah, for hire, talk about it. If you want to talk some numbers or if you want to talk some things, my boy got it. We're, we're going to live direct in full effect this summer. So stay tuned. Don't worry. I've been getting a lot of, you know, people in my ear. What Who you be working with? What is that? Like I said, WTW and Rio Reels, we're here to stay. We steady working. We steady creating, man. That's all you need to know. 
And that's really going to wrap it up for this episode. Please go follow those three, three sponsors. Absolutely. All the time, right now, ASAP and in a hurry. Vintage Variation, all social media platforms. Become Cosmetics, all social media platforms. And Real Reels. Like I said, just hold on for that. Just pump the brakes a little bit, ladies. Pump the brakes a little bit, ladies. It's okay. We on the way. But thank you all once again for another great episode. It's been a minute since I did a solo one. We're continuing our uh, campaigns for the rest of the year. April, we're really absent. But May is all about making waves. And we're going up uh, to the summertime. So thank you all for tuning in. Like I said, tell your auntie this is her favorite podcast. And shit, we here to stay. Um, I think that's all we got to do. So shit, thank you all for watching. And I'm going to see you all next week.